I'm running 26 miles or I'm getting my pubes waxed. The marathon, an impossible distance for most people to run. It's the race that destroys a body, pushing people to their breaking point. Broken bones, torn muscles, puking and even shitting yourself. Yes, you can run until you shit yourself. And I'm doing all this in my front room while wearing Crocs. And if I fail, my girlfriend's gonna wax my pubes. Not only that, every time I stop, one more wax strip will get applied if I fail. This challenge could generally kill me. So let's put these bitches in sport mode. Alright, here we go. Oh, is there one of them all? Come on, shit, that's one stop. This is fucking easy, there's only another fucking 26 of these. <clears throat> easy boys, you got this. Fuck, what free fat. Right, so I'm starting to get really fucking tired now. <laughs> As you can see the fucking sweat is setting in. I'm getting like dizzy, I keep fucking swaying and tripping on that fucking cunt there. Oh, the feet are getting sweaty as well. Like, I can feel the back of the strap like rubbing against my ankle, like because of the fucking sweat. Oh, it's not nice. So, this part of the video is my game plan. So this is where my jug is. Got water. So, I'm going to have to run from 26.2 miles in a 15 foot radius. In clocks. So jug is this like energy boost shot thing. So I'm going to have to ration me water and use the jug sparingly. I only have four of these. So I don't want to drink loads at the start. And I think I'm going to keep this jug for basically an emergency situation. So at about mile 15, when I'm get really tired, that's what's gonna give me this energy boost to get through the rest. So I'm not gonna tire myself because I doubt I'll actually get through it. So I'm not gonna give myself that limitation. How have I just figured out what this is? So, because I'm running around in circles like this, I'm getting fucking dizzy, that's why I'm swaying. <laughs> I need to run straight. So it's fucking, I'm getting a little bit loopy. I need to run on a straight line. And turn. And turn. And turn. So I'm getting more fucking thirsty as well. This is my first stop. <laughs> I'm the second stop. So, new challenge. Not only do I have to run 26 miles with Crocs on in my house, I've got to run like this. So sticking to this Call of Duty film. Uh, film? <laughs> You're fucking going crazy. Sticking to this Call of Duty theme, I've got a fucking care package on the way. Wait, so we've got the juggernaut over there and my girlfriend's all the McDonald's. Wasn't my choice. She's like, do you want McDonald's? I couldn't say fucking no. So, and Mackie D's is on the way. Yeah, all these fucking care packages here. <laughs> that was a good one, sure. Oh, how massive this is. <gasps> See the size of this blister? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, I don't know if you guys can fucking see that. Look at the size of that. But what happened next completely changed the game. It was basically the beginning of the end. My cars were absolutely killing me and my blisters were only getting bigger. I was just past mile 14. This was the closest I've come to quitting. My right. knees are hurting. And, oh, fuck me. I'm starting to feel it. Oh, man. Why the fuck did I decide to do this? Who the fuck thought this would be a good idea? The worst thing is, is the room's so small, 
I'm starting to stop in constantly, so I can't just fucking stay at that pace and just like glide, you know? I've got to start and stop. She's fucking awful. I'll keep burping the fire in. So I think I'm either gonna throw up or shit myself at some point. But I get a jail free card. Oh man, this fucking sucks so bad. I did say mile 15. I'll take one of them. But that means if I don't finish, I'm only gonna be adding more wax strips. I'm actually gonna run out of pubes at this point. But I felt like I had no choice, so I decided to spend all my points and buy the jug. So I might give it a go now. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I need this energy to come from somewhere. I think I'll have to do it. I'm gonna have to do it. So I guess this counts as one stop as well. Oh. How the fuck do you open these things? Oh, it tastes like fucking shit as well. All right, so there's one down. So I dragged myself through these next few miles. I think that jug energy shot really did anything. Oh, my energy wasn't there, but my motivation was on top. I only had my mind set on getting through this. I could see the finish line and it was right in front of me. If my neighbour isn't here right now, they're probably like, what the fuck is he on? I've been talking to myself for hours, riding around these circles, I'm legit crazy. But that sounds nuts. I'm running around in circles in the living room, talking to myself. I think that is fucking certified crazy. This run was getting harder and harder and it only seemed to be getting worse. I kept stopping, and then when I was at my lowest, it got even worse. Fuck me, man. Give it up. My legs and these big old things are killing me. Got another blister on this side now. That all skin there, that's all a blister. No fucking, I've covered up this one, but it's starting to get ones around the back as well. That's one there. Right. I don't want pubes like my hand. Oh, it's gonna hurt so much. <laughs> I've stopped like fucking several times as well, so it's literally like I'm running out of fucking ball space for the amount of wax strips I've got to stick on there. But I didn't want this whole journey to be for nothing. I'd got so far, I couldn't quit now. This was the furthest I've ever run. There's six more miles. Look on this fucking far as well. I'm almost finished, my legs were killing me. But, I'm still gonna try. I'm only starting to walk in, because... It's fucking too much, man. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Hold me on. 21.77. Shit. 21.77. 7-8 I'm just thinking I can't wait to have a shower after this Literally, I'm going to jump straight in the shower It's going to be fucking freezing cold Oh, it's going to be so nice Just a cold shower I don't even know how But I kept on going Mile after mile My body was falling apart But that wasn't going to stop me I was going to finish this marathon Even if I crawled the last few miles 25 miles. So I'm sort of developing this new technique of just fucking pushing off the walls. And these last miles, it's been going fucking brilliantly. And I'll be fucking done. I'll be done. I think I've learned something throughout this. <laughs> well, one of the things I'm really good at in life is my endurance. Like, I can keep 
go in that things and keep doing it and doing it and doing it. Like, I may be slow, like this marathon has taken me five and a half hours. But through persistence, going at my own speed and going slow, I've got somewhere. And maybe a slow 26 miles or 25 and whatever now. But I think we're getting there. <laughs> Come on. Oh, wait, fuck, resume. <gasps> yeah, 26.2. <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh my god, we did it. <sighs> or at least I'm keeping my pubes. <laughs> no shaving for these boys. Oh. We get to keep our hair. So we did five hours and 35 minutes of running. I'm still on the verge of shitting myself. 